Hey, this is Drew from Drew Story News. Welcome to another episode of the Drew Story News podcast. And I'm talking to you in a unusually very unprofessional uh, place. Um, I'm in a vehicle, obviously. Um, I just kind of got to be that way um, because I'm in the middle of a lot of things, in the middle of traveling. And I kind of wanted to post a video on this once in a lifetime date. This Tuesday, uh, Tuesday of February 22nd, 2022. I think that's pretty cool. And I wanted to do a lot of things and have it done by today. But, uh, you know, at least I'm going to get a video out today, you know. Um, and there was a lot of things that have happened, um, you know, leading up to today. And, you know, and I wanted to share that with my platform. My um, main platform is a little bit more, you know, kind of video essays, topics, celebrities, sports. I kind of keep it, you know, uh, uh, it's good for a mass appeal, that channel. The podcast, I kind of go in deep about a lot of things. And it, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. So if it's not your cup of tea and people don't want to go down deep into these things, hey, you can hang out and listen um and always join the main channel and the blogs and everything but for the deep divers um and the spiritual crowd you know i have a lot to say i have a lot of downloads and i want to do that on my podcast um especially today um and it's been because i've been traveling and there's so much things going on i've i've been unable to communicate um with even a lot of people in my life. I have I've not been able to touch base. I've not been able to uh, share on my platform as much as I wanted to when I had a lot to say. I mean, weird things have happened. I mean, I got contacted by someone, you know, telling me that uh, there's only a few, I mean, it's a private conversation, but it was a very high level spiritual conversation. And the person felt like it was part of their script, their life script to speak with me. And we just went in deep. Uh, just a lot of a lot of things have happened, and I want to talk about a lot of things. Um, and I've been having a lot of conversations, great conversations. Um, and you know, we were talking about a variety of issues. I did a podcast with someone, and we just we just talk and we just keep going with issues. And, you know, one of the things we talked about was the destruction of the family. We were talking about how they are, by design, destroying the family, um, the traditional family. They're promoting sexual confusion, sexual androgyny. And um, I shared with the person how, like, well, they did it to the blacks first. <laughs> they were trying to crush their families. They were doing it in the 60s and 70s by redlining black people into ghettos they were they were redlining them for years for decades creating ghettos so that they would intentionally deprive these neighborhoods of resources so they can create crime lack of education lack of resources and just just screw these people up this country has a very evil history when you wake up um and while they were doing this simultaneously, knowing that they were working on deliberately, strategically creating poverty, they started to come out with programs, wealth, welfare programs, right? And one of the things that, you know, one of the requirements was that, oh, when you gave the women, you know, these benefits, welfare benefits, oh, you can't have a man in the home. You know, that's not going to work. Um, nobody, they, it's like, why, <laughs> you know, I wish people demanded certain things, but it's hard to demand things when you're getting a, when you have a handout. Right. But yeah, they just, no comfortable dominant society didn't question these things. Like, why, why, why is that? They were strategically destroying the family, the black family, mass incarceration, driving the men to prison, driving the men out of the home. Um, making, you know, creating dependency on the system. Um, they were just doing so many things because they realized that the family was strong. The family and people united and strong and healthy, traditional, in, no matter what people have gone through, when they had strong, big, strong families, they were not manipulatable 
They were a powerful force to be reckoned with. And the civil rights movement taught the demonic, psychotic psychopaths that, hey, these people are unified. These people have family. We need to do something about that and destroy it. And they've been strategically chipping away at the black family because, you know, the 60s punched them, gave them, gave them such a wallop and people were unified and marching arm in arm in the streets. It, it touched the hearts of the world. And, you know, it was just this massive, you know, turnaround. Well, yeah, <laughs> those days are done. They learned from that. Now they've manipulated they, they, they've learned and they've evolved, you know, the protesting and things are not going to work as effectively today because they've evolved. And it's not just the black family they're after today. They're after you. They're after everyone. They're destroying the human family. They are after everyone. No one is exempt because people <laughs> need to wake up to what's happening now. Um, you know, there's something going on and this is part of the conversations that I've been having. Um, so globally in this country, everywhere, they, regardless of race, they always have a special place for black people. <laughs> like I'm not taking that off, you know, the table, but collectively they're after everyone and they are after everyone's freedom. They're after everyone's way of life. They are going to, or they are going to uh, blitzkrieg society with rules, with with tyranny. They are trying to crush humanity and sub and subjugate humanity, and they're trying to destroy the family. They're trying to create confusion, androgyny. Kids not know. Yo, you can choose. Like, no, you can't. They're trying to confuse everyone change the rules uh change science they're trying to flip society upside down because it is a part of the agenda they want you confused they want you the kids not knowing oh i don't know my sex i don't know like how are these people going to be strong leaders and, and and build strong solid families when they don't even know what gender they are and this is part of a plan that's been in the works. There's books and books and books about this. This has been going on. This has been in fruition for a long time. And, um, you know, the main point of the conversations that I was having was that, you know, we live in a matrix in which there are people who are working against humanity. There's people who are working against humanity and when you live your life not knowing that, you are going to be a slave. It's just, there's no way, you know, there's no way to, no other way to say that. And you're seeing that. A lot of people are dependent on the system. They're hopeful that the system will change. They believe the politicians. Um, they believe that the system is good. These people are lost. They're lost. They're lost and they're in trouble. They're making mistakes. They're making very bad mistakes because they are foolishly trusting the system and they don't understand what is happening. They don't know what's going on. And there's a lot going on today. Um, and you know, there's a, there's, there's a really good meme. <laughs> it was a really good meme. It's it, in the memes. It, the, uh, nutshell was, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, power died. <laughs> Things keep happening, but you know, underneath everything that we've been talking about, what was consistent was that there we live in a matrix, and in this matrix we are socially engineered um, for obedience, for submission. And things are peaking because there's, there's something very interesting about these times now, which is why I wanted to really why I wanted to post a video today. Um, I think there's something very important about the times, the days in which we're living right now. These are very historical times. And <clears throat> if you don't understand that we live in a matrix in which we are being manipulated, we're being controlled and the people in power are not the good guys they are 
psychopaths and they're hell bent on retaining power that they're losing control over. Look at what's happening in Canada right now. In Canada, um, there are people who are, some of these people are being arrested, having their bank accounts frozen. Like, we should be very mindful and aware of what's happening in other neighboring countries and cities and states. What's happening in Canada is not a joke and it can easily happen anywhere else these people are freaking out and they're going to get tyrannical they're going to get psychotic they're going to keep trying to grasp control of power that they that, that is slipping through their hands slipping through their fingers people don't believe them anymore the media is losing its power people don't believe the bs anymore people are starting to scratch their heads people are growing in their suspicion of the system and that needs to happen that is what's going to happen the power the system is crashing because it's collapsing and it should the systems that we are living in are ending we are going through a different time we're going through a paradigm shift and you have a lot of people hoping that the system gets better you have a lot of normies who work with the system they they believe in the politician and vote politicians and voting and the same old same old things and these people you know although well-intentioned don't understand that the system needs to come down and we're we're in a very very serious time in which there's going to be a societal cultural revolution and you know Things were going to get bad before they get better, but they will get better, but they will get better. But only a certain mindset set is going to thrive when things get better. If people are um, clinging to the system, if people are go trying to solve these problems, doing the same old things and it's not going to work. People have to revolution, revolutionize their thinking. People have to wake up. People have to go at this different. And it's in the mind. Everything is mind. And with what you, we see going on today, <clears throat> you have a split in society where you have people are choosing slavery. Willfully lose, choosing slavery. That's who they are. And that's all they are. And you got to let them go. And there's people who are regaining their sovereignty. And when you see what's happening, when you see them forcing things, when you see them mandating this thing that people are starting to wake up, they didn't need it in the first place. They gave you this thing. They gave you this thing. And you can't talk about it. They made it. And people expect the people who gave you this thing to heal you and give you the solution. That is unforgivable stupidity. People have to wake up and see. And you know, people are having trouble understanding that what I just said is true. They did, they gave the people who started this thing are the ones offering you the solution. Now you think about that. You think about that. So what do you do now? Do you just play, play along into their game? You play along with the system or do you not, you start to stop complying with everything like a fool you know people are waking up and this is why they're freaking out this is why things are not looking like the world you've ever known where you can't say things because you're gonna get yanked because they're freaking out because what i'm telling you is the truth and people are waking up to it people are waking up to it and they're freaking out they can't control you anymore when Everyone is collectively not complying. They've lost. They they know. Well, they don't. They don't know. As I'm understanding the mindset of that class of people, very intelligent, but very spiritually dumb. And I've learned that very clever people, very analytical, very highly intelligent people, but spiritually stupid. They have no wisdom. They have no insight, foresight. They they don't have it like that. They're psychopaths. 
They're crazy. <laughs> They're insane. Criminally insane entities. Hell bent on things that the normal people would never want. And people have to wake up to that. That's why people don't believe what's happening is happening. Because they don't believe. They always say dumb things. Like, oh, they would never do that. They who? Like, they who killed the Native Americans with, with smallpox. They who uh, bombed Hiroshima. They who um, uh, secretly uh, infected blacks with, you know, during the Tuskegee. They who, like, they who wouldn't do what? What are you talking about? <laughs> who wouldn't do what? You know, and uh, yeah, people are starting to wake up and realize that the system isn't good. And this is a spiritual war that we're in. And for those of you who are not spiritual, hey, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have a lot of trouble uh, in the days ahead. It's being real. But um, this is a spiritual war. This is a spiritual war. And they're attacking you in that realm. There's a lot of spells that have been cast. A lot of... This is why you're seeing this dumbing down, this mass formation site. I don't know if I should say these words. That's why you're seeing this. This the people are under a spell. They can't use logic and reason because they are. They are. They don't know what they're playing with or who they're playing with. They're low level. These people are high level sorcerers, and they're playing chess on on, on the populace, and people in their fear, and in their ego, because they they went a direction and they want to stick to that team and they don't want to change up and admit fault you know what i had it all wrong they're they're gonna die in their ego they're gonna die in their ego um so the solution moving forward is to stop complying even if you want to keep believing liars do so respectfully to everyone around you you on the side of anyone that is restricting sovereignty, restricting rights, that is trying to force anything, mandate anything, you are not on the right side of history. That's what I was saying before I got cut off. There was a meme, <laughs> there was a, a great meme saying society is failing an open book test. We've been here before. When you see what's going on in Canada where they're seizing people, arresting them, freezing bank accounts, because they're, they're fighting against mandates, and you're on the Canadian government side. There's something wrong with you. Spiritually, mentally, like you have to get checked out. You have to stop where you are. Wash your face. You know, have a drink of cold water. Do what you need to do and sit with yourself for a while. And wake up and realize you have been clueless from the jump. If you're on the side of the establishment in any country that you are in, right now if you're on the side of the, the establishment the, the establishment trying to normalize mandating things seizing human rights today it's this thing tomorrow it's whatever they tell you they you need to do you're gonna do it you're gonna be on your knees with a boot on your neck and you're going to be sorry that you were that you were one of the the fools in society that just couldn't you know you can't see straight you can't see what's right in front of you I'm from New York. Thousands of people got fired every couple of months. Thousands of people got fired because they wouldn't do what the government told them to do. And you're on the side of the government because what? It's something that it's uh, going to keep you safe. Well, we've been here before and they were always wrong. Swine flu like that and threat like we've been here before. Society is failing an open book test. And you can't forgive that kind of foolishness. Like, it's like, you know, it's just. But I want to leave this on a positive note. Moving forward, it's never too late to wake up. It's never too late to change direction. Even if you're lost at sea and you're way the hell out of, <laughs> you know, society. As long as you catch yourself and you can spin yourself into the right direction. You got a longer way to go. But at least you can, it's never too late to turn around and at least start heading in the right direction. And, you know, I just want to leave that, you know, message with people um, moving forward. Things are going to get bad. 
a lot of things are going to happen. They're trying to divert your attention with war. They're talking about Ukraine and Russia. They're, they're trying to throw everything at you. They're throwing celebrities at you. They're throwing, uh, you know, the Neil Young. They're, they're just trying to do everything to steal you back because they're losing you. They're losing you and they and they know it. The system is over. This The system is over. And it's time to do things a little differently. But before things change, things are going to get bad. Things are going to collapse. Things are going to have to go that way in order for people to finally let the old way of doing things go. You know, people are going to finally going to have to learn to stop trusting the liars the hard way because the liar is going to lead them into a bad way. They keep trusting this clown, this 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 administration. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. The Democrats are awful right now. They're awful. And there's no good party. I'm not, I'm not you know, repping the red team either. But um, this party trying to push tyranny and normalize you doing something that is clearly for their agenda because it's no longer about science the, the, the science is not on their side anymore it does and you, you can't you can't make that argument anymore because it's just it's not a rational one at this point um turn around and join the collective initiative the the collective movement of non-compliance regaining your sovereignty um and you don't have to go run out and protest. You don't have to do anything. But if every person understands, wakes up out of the, the, the nonsense, out of the fog, out of their allegiances, their false 3D matrix allegiances to my job, to my this, to my church, to my political team. When you drop your 3D matrix affiliations and you wake up to your true higher self, you wake up to really fully see the the potential of humanity and how you are living so low beneath it when you truly wake up and realign yourself with your love of humanity love of people around you love of your sovereignty love of their sovereignty and you'll understand that we all want the same things we don't want to be sick we don't want to but you're being manipulated fooled you're being tricked you're being led down a Hegelian dialectic plan that has nothing to do with your is not your not for your your good it's not for your good it's part of their plan for you oh there's a whole plan and it, it involves AI and it, it involves transhumanism it involves big tech it involves you chained and tethered to government and pharma for the rest of your life you're going to have this you're going to, you're going to need that you're going to have to walk in with this you're going to have to fly with that this is what they were trying to do and if you don't get it now you never will step to the side don't be active don't be one of these people on social media just step to the side you need some you need some serious help. Just just put yourself as inactive, an inactive player. Because it's going to get very difficult. Because the truth is just going to keep coming out and coming out and coming out. And it's going to get harder to stay delusional and stay in denial. But guys, um, I want to end positive And I wanted to keep this short. I just wanted to really talk about a lot of the things that I've been talking about um, with people. I want to talk about strange um, conversations that, had, that not in a good way. Um, I don't know if I said it already. I, I speak a lot on videos. Someone contacted me and told me that he felt it was part of his life script to talk to me and started talking about, you know, so many things, spiritual things. Again, I'm sorry if you're not a spiritual person, but, you know, there's so many things I wanted to touch on and, and you know, I'll say for a more organized video when I'm not in my car. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end here, guys. And I just want to wish everybody a prosperous, to continue to have a prosperous year moving forward. And to remember to hold on. Things are going to get crazy. There's going to be crazy news cycles. Things diverting you. A lot of people are going to die. I've been saying that since since Jump. You're going to see a lot of deaths. You're going to see a lot of 
crazy news stories, war mongering, talk of war to try to steal your attention back, to steal your attention back. You know what? Now is the time to really capture your mind, regain control of your mind. Um, meditate. Less TV and news. Drop all the politics. Drop that stuff. Just let it go. And really come back into yourself. Raise your vibration. Raise your 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 ability to think critically. Regain your power, your sovereignty, and stop complying. Stop complying with the psychopaths. Peep the game already. It's, it's, it's some of you are very, very, very late, and that's okay. But you know, at some point, you have to call a spade a spade and say enough enough but anyway guys I want to leave you with that a lot of videos I'm going to touch on but uh, for now I'll end here stay in your power stay in your power and do not